So the third bone that we have on the bones of the skull is the temporal bone. So we're going to start by turning this sideways and we're going to find the squamosal suture. So this suture right here, this is the squamosal suture. Then you're going to need to find the external auditory meatus. That is right there. That's the external auditory meatus. You need to find the styloid processes. And so you're going to have to take this off, flip this over. This is a styloid process right here. And this is a styloid process right here. Jumping ahead a little bit, this is a mastoid process. And this is a mastoid process. And in between the styloid process and the mastoid process, you have the stylomastoid foramen. And this is where your facial nerve runs. The next thing you're gonna to need to find is the zygomatic process. So without making this too complicated, this entire structure is the zygomatic arch. If you're looking at the temporal side, then you're looking at the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. If you're looking at the zygomatic side, then you are looking at the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. So really you just need to figure out which bone you're looking at, and it's gonna be the opposite name for the process. The next thing that you're gonna to need to find is the carotid canal. And again, you're gonna to have to flip this over because the carotid canal doesn't go through. That little hole right there is the carotid canal. Then you need the jugular foramen, which is in here. Can also be seen from this side. There's your jugular foramen right there. Um, the internal jugular vein, the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, and the accessory and cranial nerves run through here. Then you need the internal acoustic meatus, and that's gonna be this one right here. Mine doesn't go all the way through. I think that the lab skulls have it going all the way through. Um, the facial nerve runs through the ear, the internal acoustic artery runs through here. So, yep.